Hello everyone. Welcome to my class in Accountancy Business and Management 2 or Business Finance. Okay, in Business Finance, we have been studying in the past week how to manage cash. We know for a fact that cash is the most liquid of all assets. And since it is the most liquid, it is very volatile and we have to take good care of it so that the, the most uh, liquid asset will not slip away from our from our hands immediately okay and this topic today is very interesting because it is about interest as the word suggests indeed interest is an interesting topic okay let me show you how and why okay even, even in the biblical times interest is a very I was this used topic. Do you remember the parable of the talents? Okay, this story, well, I'll try to modify it in a business finance context. Okay. So here is a master with three servants. The master would go on a long journey, and before he leaves, he wanted to entrust his money to his three servants. Maybe he trusted these three servants among all others. Let us see. But the first servant was called and he was given 10,000 pesos. The second servant was called also and he was given 7,500 pesos. And the third servant was called and he was given 5,000 pesos. And the instruction was the same. Okay, I'm leaving for a long trip and when I come back, I want you to, what's this? Take good care of the money. And when I come back, you have to account to me in full. So that's it. And the master left. So the first servant thought, oh, I have, I know what to do. In my FABM2 business class, business finance class, I learned about compounding interest. And that blew my mind away. So I will do this in this I will do this compounding interest in this 10,000 pesos entrusted to me. So that's what he did. He went to find for the best financing investment, okay, that will give him the less risk. Yes, he was exposed to risk, but he was very mindful. He was very smart enough to select for the investment that will give him the lowest risk and the highest return on investment. So, lo and behold, the second servant came and he said, Oh, I know what to do. I learned also in my FABM1 subject that I have to study the simple interest. Okay? And from that, uh, from that idea, he went to the bank and then he deposited it in the bank for the, the amount entrusted to him. He deposited it and he was proud enough that this money will be earning more than the money gave, given to him by his master. And the third servant said, Oh, I'm afraid. I don't want to lose the money of my master. I'm not really good in business. Or maybe I am good, but I'm afraid that he might he might he might scold me if I have incur losses. So better yet to be very, very safe, and I will do nothing but keep it in my vault. So there he went to the room and keep the money, the 5,000 pesos entrusted to him in his vault. I, uh, two years later, the master came and he called one of the three servants to account for the money. And servant number one said, oh, my master, here I am to present to you the 10,000 pesos you entrusted to me. It has become doubled. The 10,000 became 20,000 pesos. Good and faithful servant, the master said to his servant number one. Then servant number two came. My master, I'm so happy. I will report to you the 7,500 pesos that you gave me. It earned, was this? More than the money that you entrusted me. It is now 10,000 pesos. I earned 2,500 pesos more than the money that you entrusted me. And the servant was happy, said, well and faithful servant, great job indeed. And the third servant came, master, you know why? 
I did not lose any single cent from the money that you entrusted to me. I kept it in the vault because I'm afraid I might incur losses. So here it is again, no losses, still intact. 5,000 pesos. And the master became furious. He said, oh my goodness, servant number three, you did nothing of the money that I entrusted you? Give me back the 5,000 pesos and you will not gain anything from me, but I will give this 5,000 to the servant number two and to servant number one who did well in their job. They invested it and it earned more than the money that I gave them. The first servant compounded it. The second servant earned simple interest. But that is very well enough. Okay? So, my dear students, did we learn a lesson from this story? It speaks of the importance of interest. Okay? So, what is interest, by the way? Okay, let us look at this uh, next slide. When we speak of interest, it, uh, the slide shows it means the cost of holding money. What do you mean by cost of holding money? In servant number one, in the case of servant number one, he entrusted the money to, a, in, to an investment company. So because the investment company held the money for two years, he owes servant number one an interest. Okay? But the, the servant who entrusted his money to the investment company earns interest income because that was his money used by the investment company. The investment company who borrowed, who used the money, incurred expenses. But also, they have also earned income from that, okay? He earned also income because he managed the money, okay? And because he managed the money, he owes you interest income. And he also earned income from your money. So that is how money works. Interest from interest and then the money the the money that the, the the interest that the money earned it has a simple formula it is principal times the rate times the time okay we have already discussed that interest may be used in two ways when you borrow money Okay, when you borrow money, for example, as a loan, as a housing loan, as a car loan, or a business loan, you incur interest expense. Okay, the debtor who borrows the money incurs interest expense. Okay, the money, the, what's this? The bank who gives you the money or who gives you the principal amount, lends you the money, incurs interest income. Okay, so when you invest your money, you incur income, interest income. When you borrow money, you incur interest expense. Okay. So next. Okay, here is the formula. Simple interest, for example, on August 1, 2017, Mario borrowed 50000 from ABC Bank. Okay. Uh, at a rate of 14% per annum. And the question is, how much did he pay in full on September 30, 2017? When we say how much did he pay in full, he, uh, Mario must pay the principal back plus the interest. Okay, so the, we know the formula for the interest. Principal, 50,000 times 0.14 times 60 over 360. Okay, that's the banker's rule. Uh, when we use the number of days, we use 360 as your denominator. So 50,000 times 0.14 times 60 over 360 will give you 3,500. Or you can either use 50,000 times 0.14 times 2 over 12 because you use the money from August 1 to September 30 is how long? Two months, okay? So two months, that means two over 12. So how much is the answer? 3,500. So how much will you be paying the ABC bank? 50,000 the principal plus the, plus the interest of 
3,500. Interest for how long? For two months. Okay, next. I will also be showing you here uh, other ways or other problems in the interest. Suppose here, uh, well, we cannot illustrate it using the whiteboard, but maybe on our on our Google class, I will show you how to was this how to was this to derive derive the the was this the formula for interest, principal, rate, and time. But for the meantime, I illustrate it using a pyramid. Okay. If you need, for example, you need to, you need to, was this, to look for I or for the interest, you just cover the I and then what, what are the remaining factors? You multiply P times R times T. If you need P, you cover P here and what are the remaining factors? So interest times R divided by R times T and so forth. Okay, let's do it one by one. Okay, so where are we now? Number three, number four slide. I think we're in the, yes, on the fifth slide. On the fifth slide, so here it is. If it takes a year to borrow the money, so you do not get, multiply it by 2 over 12, but you divide it by one year, okay? So if you incur it, if you borrow the money for two years, so year one, how much is the interest? 50,000 times 0.14 times the year one is equal to 7,000. Year two, so another 7,000. So 50,000 plus the 7,000 for year one. So your maturity value of the loan is 57,000 for year one. But if you did not pay on year one, you pay on year two. So 50,000 plus 14,000 will give you 64,000. The principal amount plus the interest of 14,000 is the maturity value of 64,000. My dear students, let us not be confused with the use of maturity value and fair a future value. Okay, maturity value is used in, when you borrow money. Okay, when you incur money, uh, when you incur loan, then you say, you say, how much is the maturity value? Okay, of your money after a certain period of time. But if you made the investments, the returns on that is called the future value. Okay, so you made an investment into a certain company and then you ask for the future value of your present money today. So that's it. Next we have, okay, the simple interest. Going back to this problem, at 50,000 with a 14% rate, Mario paid 13000 for interest. How long did he pay the maturity value? So the problem now is the time. He paid only 13000 So how long was it? How long did he use the money? Or how long did he pay the, the money, the, the principal? So let's solve. I, we, we have discussed this. If we need the T, we just cover the T here. Okay, cover the T. And what are the remaining factors? I... I divided by P times the R. So let's solve it. So I is the 13,000. Let us replace I with the true value of 15,000. Ah, no, 13,000 divided by the P and the R. P is 50,000 times 0.14, the rate of interest. So 13,000 divided by 7,000 will give us 1.85. 1.85 does not mean one year and eight, 85 months. No, that's not correct. So what do we do? We multiply 85 or 0.85 by 12 to determine the number of months. Okay? So 1 here becomes 1 year plus 0.85 multiplied by 12. It will give us how much? 0.85 times 12 becomes 10.2. So the answer now is one year plus 10.2 or one year plus 10 months approximately. Okay, it's easy, right? Okay, so now let's go to the next uh, problem. At 50,000 loan, Mario paid 14,000. Okay, he paid 14,000 interest in two years. 
So what was the rate of interest? So what is the what is the problem being asked? The rate. So we cover the R. And what are the remaining factors? If we cover the R, I multiply divided by M P plus T. So let's solve the problem. Oh, sorry, it doesn't move. Okay, so we have to go to the next slide. Okay, so the next slide is uh, I is how much? I is I is fourteen thousand, right? Interest is uh, was this fourteen thousand times fifty thousand, the principal times the time of two years. It will give us one hundred. So fourteen thousand divided by one hundred thousand, it will give us how much? Correct. Point fourteen, or fourteen percent. So your answer is fourteen percent. Next, another problem. Mario paid fourteen thousand interest in two years at fourteen percent interest. So how much was the principal amount? Okay, if you we are looking for the principal amount. Okay, we cover letter P and we multiply rate times the time and the numerator is the interest, okay? So what is the problem? So I becomes interest of 14,000. The rate is 0.14, okay? The rate is 0.14 times 2. It will give us 0.28. So 14,000 divided by 0.28, it will give us the principal amount of 50,000. So it's becoming easier and easier. Next. So we're done with the simple interest. Okay? So if there is any problem, we can talk about it in the assessment that I'm giving you in a few minutes. Okay? For today, we are done with the simple interest. And a little later, we will discuss the compound interest. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you.